if you're having trouble with your epidural um, insertion at all, I usually say if it's taking more than two attempts or two needle insertions into skin or more than 20 minutes from the start of the needle insertion into skin, you should be escalating to a senior member of staff or your co-registrar if you're here at this hospital. Um, it's really important we do this so that we can support you to get some learning out of the epidural or help you with a very difficult epidural, which is quite common here at this hospital as well. We'd also like you to ensure that you do notify your consultant if you encounter any difficulties during the insertion, such as a recognized or suspected drill puncture, a high block, or an unexplained motor block as well, which is really important. Once the epidural is in, you can uh, breathe your sigh of relief and then move on to a few really important post-procedure events, including ensuring adequate documentation with the detail required for someone to understand how the attempt went, um, utilizing the, uh, the documentation standards at the hospital, which will be explained to you, as well as prescribing the PCEA, which is what we use at the moment, onto the medication chart. Just a quick reminder to ensure that you do the sign out process with your midwife. As I mentioned before, it includes a sensory level assessment and motor assessment together to agree upon where the epidural is after you've loaded it, instructions on how to proceed with the PCEA uh, or the epidural, uh, whatever the format it is at the time, as well as ensuring that clear instructions are given around reinforcing the mandatory epidural observations at the hospital that you work on um, and what you'd like to be called about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something about epidurals today and all the best.